This video is reaction to the discussion of a sense of a bookworm, season 3, episode 6, reaction is now going to commence. Oh? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Hmm. Okay. Alright. Makes sense. Alright. Minecraft. Okay. Did you get permission? Yes. Adorable bonus. Uh. Yeah, shouldn't that be someone else? Why mine? Okay. Just join the. the. what? My goodness, I can't speak! <laughs> They look the same, but okay. Hmm. Oh! Goat milk. Is that gonna work? Is that gonna work? Mine. This is one of those things where I am. Mine is a super genius. Clearly, she is almost Senku level. But hey. <laughs> My goodness. Okay. Guess they're gonna be having fun with that. Oh. Oh. Hmm. I guess your mother can help it? No. Uh, well, try that. Well, she's very competitive, indeed. Mine, I think you're being still too naive. I hope mine truly experiences some, some horrible things. Because mine has not really struggled as in truly facing someone that she can't do absolutely anything against. And she has, but not truly. Yeah, I'm certain that eventually we'll see it. And I think I mentioned it. I want someone who's an actual threat, magically speaking. Oh, Lady Mine? Why? Yeah. True. <laughs> Alright. Coding, definitely. I'm about to invent it. You just plagiarize it. Hmm? What? Oh, okay. Hmm. Yes. Okay. All the materials. <sighs> These are the episodes which have very short discussions because, frankly, I care way more about the magic. But hey, we got a lot of magic in the last one, so I'm not going to be complaining. It's a lot of experimenting. Yeah, this show really is similar to Dr. Stone, isn't it? Well, then again, we don't know about Dr. Stone, anyhow. Alright. Wow, he has changed a lot. Mine, I find you suspicious in certain ways. Wait, creature? Hmm. Oh! It has magic, maybe. Okay, okay. Because I was mentioning Dr. Stone, I doubt it, but we're not going with antibiotics, right? Mine is not that Senku-like. I mean, she's read a lot of books, sure. And I do believe that she has all the knowledge she needs in order to create the book interest industry. I do believe that 100%. However, I will be very shocked if she actually does know how to uh, create antibiotics, specifically. Or just many other medicine in general. She might have some general knowledge, but I I don't know. I guess I, I never thought about it, but yeah, mine and Senku are insanely similar. But anyhow, anyhow, anyhow. Overall, the episode was fine. Last episode was definitely much better. Mine is still going on ahead and trying to change the world in her own way, while not even understanding that the world is as different as this. Uh, she wants to change the mind of Dahlia. Is that her name? I think so. And... I assume it's probably not going to work out for a little while and then obviously enough she will change her mind and care deeply, we'll see. Now the baby obviously has a fever. For now the only really real setup we've had with kids that had fever, fevers, yes, are those that have had high magical level. So perhaps the kid just has a lot of mana. I don't know. Uh, obviously enough it's too early to know yet. I don't know what else I can really talk about. Mine is uh, creating cover dink, obviously if a baby has been born, her little brother. And that is all there is that I really want to talk about in general about the episode. Obviously enough a uh, new a new branch of the Gilbert company. Is that what it's called? No it isn't. Is it? I'm forgetting. Uh, the ink branch is now added to the company where they will be producing the ink themselves so obviously they can experiment with it more. A lot of benefits, especially if they're going to be a book company in the future. That's what my desires, I assume. I don't know what else I really wanted to mention. I believe there was something else important. I mean, the thing with Dahlia. Is that her name? Red-haired. The girl with a very sad dream, but realistic in this world. I 
don't know what to say. I think that this arc perhaps can truly be about her really getting rid of the head priest from her life and becoming a real servant for mine. Uh, we also had, I forgot the name, of the little blonde kid that is in, that really appreciates mine. I don't know whether he is into her. We'll see. Obviously, they're still very young. I have the feeling though that he probably will end up being that in the future, but there is a distant future. Distant future. And also, is this show really gonna have mine be this age for such a ginormous amount of time? I mean, then again, it technically has been two years, right? In these two seasons. It's not moving at the speed of Mushoku Tensei, but it has been years. Mine is growing up. I'm just very excited to see mine as an adult. I really am. Especially because she is an adult, in reality. Uh, but, yeah, actually I can check how old is mine currently, because I can't remember. Uh, she's 5 at volume 1, part 1, and 7 at volume 2, part 2. Okay, so it's exactly how I think. It's been only two years. I think this is referring to the anime, so mine is seven. Okay, yeah, she's very young still. There is a lot of time. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't have that much to say about this episode. There really wasn't any magic in a... I mean, at this point, I do feel disappointed. Whenever we get absolutely no magic at all in any episode, I feel very disappointed, if I have to be honest. Because, come on, we've gotten to a point where we really know about the magic. It's... Mine is in a position where she is constantly, uh, got exposed to magic and she even casts magic herself. So even though it is a small item, just a passing reference, that's something that adds to the world, I would really appreciate it. I, I understand that this is the show, but I just feel like the magical world needs to be more present. And I know it's just a single episode, especially since the last two episodes, I really shouldn't be complaining because there was a magical fight, which I don't know, I was expecting a magical fight probably in season 5 or something. But hey, I, t I, I guess this was this. I won't complain too much just because a single episode, the fact that there was no magic in it is not a problem. And obviously, you know, these things need to happen. Man needs to create thousands of things and probably revolutionize the world thousands of times. Which, by the way, with the amount of knowledge that mine has, things have to get out of hand sooner, I think. Rather soonish. There we go. I think that's what I want to say. Obviously, you know, some nobles were going after her. Uh, the trading companies are also doing their own thing. There is a lot of moving pieces. I guess we just don't know when things are going to go out of control. I guess a theory I can throw out there right now is maybe the kit was dropped so that it can do something to them. I don't know, it had uh, pimples or something, which leads me to believe that it probably has some sort of a disease, which is sad because I was kind of hoping it probably is connected to mana, but then again, maybe it's both, maybe this kid has a lot of mana and is sick from something, and that, actually that could be a real reason why they sent it to the cathedral, precisely because maybe they want to destroy everyone with a sickness? That would be so messed up. But also would be a very good way to show how messed up this world is, because as we all know, yeah, it is pretty messed up. There's some very messed up things that mine, in personal opinion, has yet to wrap her head around when it comes to this world. Anyhow though, as a whole, I actually did enjoy the episode. And I am truly looking forward to our next one, especially now that I mentioned that theory and I'm really hoping it's true, because it could lead to some very interesting things. Also, we will probably get to see more healing magic, because I highly doubt that mine will have the scientific knowledge to create actual working medicine. But then again, we'll see. Anyway though, this is there, subscribe to my channel there, and bye.